I've always wanted to be a zookeeper, work with animals. So, yeah, being here is basically the gateway to where I want to have always been. <laughs> cool. How about you? Uh, I learned about this place like six years ago, and oh, yeah? basically everything since then was just like getting here. So. It's fun because you go to class, you learn about this stuff, and then like you go right out on the zoo well, and you I mean, do it. And it's, here, then he'll be it's fine. very hands-on. If you're on the outside, style, so. like, how old are you? I'm 20. Like, you know, so you learned about it when you were 14. Um, yeah, right around in there. <laughs> and you went, I'm going to be in that program. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> EDEM stands for Exotic Animal Training and Management Program. It's a very unique program. We're the only one in the United States that has our exact combination of classes. The only one close is in Santa, it's called Santa Fe Community College in Florida. And we have three kind of prongs to our program. One is conservation. One is animal handling and training and uh, animal husbandry, like feeding and taking care of them. And the last one is animal training and that's really kind of our unique piece. Since we're so close to Hollywood and to um, zoos and other animal activities, our graduates are basically in every zoo or any animal exhibit in the United States and around the world. So it's, a, it's an incredible program. So who got the short straw? Who got the elephant? Oh, I wish we had <laughs> an elephant. No elephant. I don't think that would be a short straw here. That would be a long straw. Do you have a favorite animal? Oh, it's really hard to decide. I love all of the animals. However, my heart does have a special place for the barn owl. Her name is Alba. <laughs> No, I actually, this is something that I've always wanted to do, and um, when I was in seventh grade, some of the staff members actually came to my middle school for career day, and um, they brought one of the assignments over, and then, so that's how I learned about the school. And who is this? This is Maxine, our black and white tegu. So, like, what's your favorite animal? Uh, I am absolutely in love with the ocelot that we have here. And he wasn't who I thought was going to be my favorite animal. I had already picked out who I thought was going to be my favorite, but they kind of sneak up on you. Ken, <laughs> yes. what do you think? I think this is one of the best programs in America. I'm so excited to be here, I, I, I can hardly express myself. My favorite animal is Scooter, and she's a capuchin monkey. And I was definitely not into monkeys when I first came here, but this program has opened me up to the world of primates, and I absolutely love them now. What's your favorite animal? Uh -oh. That's like asking a mother who their favorite child is. I, I really like all the animals. They offer so many different things. Um, some I like to train, some I like to cuddle with, some I just think are beautiful and like to watch, so I love them all. We just took a tour and we are, are visiting with Morty the Python. And Morty the Python is one of the most impressive snakes I've ever been introduced to in my life. And I've known a lot of snakes. Why are you so skinny like right at the very end? That's actually her tail. So all the rest of it is vertebrae and muscle, and that is a tail. That's where her tail begins, is where it's skinny like that. Does she live here? She does yeah, live here. She does. She's um, not accessible to the public at the moment. We're working on getting her out here. Because huh. I don't remember yeah. seeing the python before. Yeah. yeah. She doesn't come out a lot. Where does she live? In the back, in of, the back of the Is she shy? Is she camera shy? 
My favorite animal is Dusty Bunny. He's a, a domestic rabbit, but they don't have to be an exotic animal for you to fall in love with them. <laughs> okay, well this is Dusty. He's a domestic rabbit, and he is one of our handler animals. So we as first years are able to handle him. He's in our shows and he has a couple behaviors and he's just the sweetest rabbit you're ever gonna meet. L looking forward to seeing the lions. Well, the, we, he, rumor has it he's putting his head in the mouth of the lion. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll see what actually happens. Oh boy, um, I do love the turkey vulture. He has won my heart as well as Clarence the Galapagos tortoise and who couldn't love Bubbles the pig? She is just an angel. I've always wanted to go into the monkey cage, but so far they Bernie haven't won't let, let him. me. No. <laughs> All right. So who's this? This is Cheyenne. She's our red-shouldered hawk. She comes from a rehab facility. She had a bacterial infection in her feathers, and so she wasn't able to be released. And so we've kept her here, and she's doing a lot better now. Her feathers are regrowing properly, and pretty soon we're going to try and start uh, flying her from glove to glove. My favorite animal is Happy the Alligator. He's definitely the, the best one on the zoo. He's the smartest. <laughs> and I like when he follows me around. Um, that is a really hard question, um, but I definitely would probably say I prefer the big cats. I'll bet they prefer you. <laughs> this is an African pygmy hedgehog. This is Prickles. He lives with his brother Stickles, but he's more outgoing. Stickles just hides and curls up into a ball. He's really cute. And he's a lot more active. He looks outgoing. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? Ooh, favorite animal. I'd probably go with uh, Holly, our squirrel monkey. She's my favorite. I get to caretake on her when our second year students go off to on a week-long field trip. So I'm a, I'm falling in love with her. She's like the pretty cool. You're like the old pig. Exactly. That's right. Uh, he's a, a cross between a military macaw and a green wing. So these guys wouldn't be found in the wild. Whoa! Can you wave? Good boy. This is his first time out at an event, so he's not quite sure what to think of it. He's doing pretty good. Yeah, he is. Does he get out a lot? He does, every day. Every day, right bud? Can you target? Good. And fun fact about them, their babies are actually born with their spines fully developed under their skin and after about three days of birth the spines surface and poke through their skin. Nice. Yep. Nice. That happens to me after a big meal. <laughs> One of my favorite moments was when I, I saw two couples walking in and it looked like they were having a little bit of trouble. And I asked if they needed help getting anywhere and it turned out that the woman was blind. So she was at this wonderful zoo and she was sitting in the show but she couldn't see anything. So I took her backstage and I asked uh, the other trainers if she could touch the animals that she that they would allow her to touch and she had an amazing time. I then took her hand and brought her down here with Clarence and I let her stroke his neck and touch his shell and the face that she made I will never forget. It was a moment that made me realize that this is what I want to do. I want to share the lives of our animals with our public because if I can bring somebody's day so much higher than what it was and if I can show them that you know life is good and if you can if you can really experience the joy that animals bring, that's why I'm in this field and that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. Showing that woman that um, animals aren't just to be heard or listened to, that you can actually experience them and she got to touch them and I brought her world together with Clarence 
that meant everything to me. So I hope to do that for the rest of my life. I think it's just fantastic. I came here for the first time last weekend. I could not believe it that the, the I seen the little uh, raccoon play the piano for me and seen the uh, water buffalo give Allison a kiss and that just that, that just did it for me. And what's your favorite animal? Favorite animal is a tiger, but we don't have one, so right now it's Sabuti the hyena. <laughs> and what's your favorite animal at the zoo? Well, that's not a fair question because I have lots of favorite animals. Okay, what are two of your favorite animals? Two of my favorite, Oliver, of course, because we had to nurse him through two years and of valley fever. Oliver, for those Oliver would know. be a Siamang. He's five years old now, and I like the hyenas. <laughs> Why am I here? Because it's the zoo. No one else has a zoo but us. So it's a great facility, you, great program. Do you have a favorite animal? I like the monkeys, the ones, that, the little ones. Do they remind you of anyone? No. <laughs> My children when they were younger. Is it, is it because of the alligator? I think it was. I think it was to go to see the new line. No, what sorry. do you think the name of that line should be? Jeremy. <laughs> What brings me here is my granddaughter, who works at the zoo, who's in school here. And what, and what does she actually What does she actually do here at the zoo? Well, Allison has so many. Allison's job here at the zoo is several of the animals, and one is the new lion that she's responsible to work with. This is a wonderful place for a lion to live and and, and for us to enjoy um, having him here. And the zoo is the best program of its type in America. Um, I like Spirit, the mountain lion, a lot. He's probably my favorite animal at the zoo here. He's really cool. Yeah. What is your name? My name's Andy Blake. My wife, Carol, Hello. right there. Well, thank you very and much. And we, we've rented Oh, yeah, we love the zoo. Five years. Yeah, we've, and uh, actually, I have, in my part of our living trust, I've left part of my estate to the zoo. That is fantastic. Wow. And do you have a favorite animal here? Oh, I have about three. I love Clarence. Oh, I love, and Walter. Walter and, is a uh, yeah. Asian water buffalo. And I, the, I like, I love the hoofstock, the emus, Julieta, and the llamas, Mama Llama, and Valentine, and Valentine, her daughter. So I'm torn between the hoofstock. Clarence and the primates. <laughs> my favorite animal is the beaver. Awesome. MIT he's, grad. Because he's an engineer. <laughs> and what, day, what is your favorite animal here at the zoo? Well, the lioness, uh, Kiara, is one of my favorites. Uh, I got to raise her from when she was two months old. Uh, she spent the first uh, three nights in bed with me. Uh, I kicked my son out of his room and, and uh, she slept with me because that's what she was used to. Where she came from, she slept with her trainer, so I did that. The third night, she woke me up at 2 in the morning standing on my chest with a look on her face that said, let's play. So then she graduated to sleeping in a crate. <laughs> do you have a favorite animal at the zoo? I do. What's your favorite animal? Um, I have multiple favorites. Um, my first two right now are Tonka the Badger and Ebony the Raven. Nice. Okay. You know, it's a good question. My favorite animal animals are the birds because they're very active. And I'm, I hear they do painting. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of their art. It's really hard to choose uh, an animal, but I think one of my favorites is our lioness, Kiara. She's so adorable, and she just picks her favorite people, and I think I'm one of them. <laughs> Let me ask you this. What's your favorite animal? The lion's my favorite. Actually, I like the really old hyena, too, the one that's 22, because they only live to be 12 in the wild, apparently, and he's just hanging in there, and he's very cute. <laughs> so, like, who's your favorite animal? I actually like them all. I do like the answer. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Oh. Um. I really love.
like, I really like Kiara, our lion. She's really cool. She reminds me of my cat at home. She just lays on her back and stretches. She's really cute. I like her. I've lived here my entire life, and my mom was really into animals, so that made me really into animals, and we'd go here when I was little, and I just loved it. And yeah. You love it now? Yeah, I still love it. It's great. It's a lot of fun. Every beak. Is Target? this your main squeeze? Yeah. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> what are you doing? Is that did a you ever think you'd be this close to a bird? No. When I came, I did not like birds at all. And now I love birds.